please like and subscribe. Extra air ventilation is required for all stoves that are rated above 5 kilowatts and if your house was built after 2008 it's actually required for all stoves generally because the houses are now built so sealed that even a little 4 kilowatt can't get enough air. Regardless of whether the regulations say you have to have an air vent or not, it's the installer's job to check and provide an air vent if it's needed. They do that by testing the stove, lighting it, checking the drawer. And obviously if there isn't enough air, they have to put an air vent in, even if the regs say you don't have to. If you've already got a stove and you feel that it's not working very well, if you were, or it's hard to light, if you were to crack the window open every time you tried to light it, if that improved things, it's a sign that the stove isn't getting enough air and adding a little air vent would be the right way of solving that. If you're looking to get a stove and you think you're going to need an air vent, then a lot of people will look for a stove with the capability of direct air. This only works ordinarily if the stove is going to be placed on an outside wall, but in that situation you can pipe the air straight through the back wall directly into the stove, and this means you don't have any additional drafts. If direct air isn't an option, then some people with existing installations will just crack the window open because that will solve the drawer issue. Obviously, it's far better if that's working for you to put a proper air vent in. That way, if you move or if somebody else is using the stove who isn't used to it, they can do that safely. The final thing to think about if you don't have direct air is where to place your air vent. Now, if you need help with this, obviously your local chimney sweep or stove shop or fitter, they're the right people to ask about this. But you can place the air vent on the wrong side of the building and if the wind is whipping past it, it can actually start sucking air out of the room, which of course is in turn gonna suck smoke out of your stove. It's gonna make the whole problem worse. So ideally, that air vent has to be placed on the side of the house where there's a prevailing wind, so you're sort of pressurizing the room, or in a very sheltered area, so that as the stove sucks air out of the room, that can just release pressure and ease air in as needed. But as I say, do check if you don't know what you're doing.